Don't you just love those houses that are beautiful, clever, well designed, and everything works how it's meant to? Every single little detail planned down to the nth degree. The problem is that's the exception and not the rule. So what do you do when you've got a negative? Well, you turn it into a positive, of course. And that's exactly what's happening here at Katie and Anthony's house. This is actually a carport, but it doesn't look like it's ever seen a car. It's a car. It... There's a great big step there. And it's low. Very low. It is. But, you know, I think we could do something with this space. Here they come. Oh. What Hello. a lovely space Hello. you have. Hello, Jason. Welcome. Jason, Thanks you for good? coming How are you? out. Is this where you park your imaginary Porsche? It's meant to be a car carport, but with the lack of driveway there, we don't use it for that space at the moment. Initially, we tried to make it an entertainment space, but it's quite dark. I really like the architecture of this house. When you're standing at the street, you see the whole thing. But when you stand in here, all you see is a dated red brick, a low roof, grey trim, steel poles. It's pretty tired. Yeah. Not to mention the floor. The gardens are very tired. Absolutely. Mm, they're very yeah. low maintenance, a bit too low maintenance. We've got the air conditioning unit here. I thought the this gardens. was your outdoor entertaining seating. <laughs> what could That's be a bench? So you want it to feel nice and fresh and kind of relaxing. Absolutely. Resort-like. Love that word, resort. OK, with resort living as our inspiration, we're going to give this space a Frank Sinatra at play in Come Palm Springs kind of me, feel, with stone floors, 60s-inspired furniture me. and crisp blue and white. If you can use some... Can you see this concrete slab here? Well, I can. Have you cursed at it with all its ugliness and cracks? It's about to come up, is it? It's about to come up. Now, when it comes to jackhammering, you might just think you rip in and tear. Well, there is a sort of method to my madness. So I started on the outside edge, so I've got somewhere to push the concrete. And you've got to think about what you can lift. Break it up into sizes that are manageable. Not too big, not too small. Otherwise, there's too much to clean up. Now, what we're going to do is turn that eyesore that you had... Yep. ..and we're going to come out to the edge of this step and turn this into a garden bed. Because what you don't have here is a lot of privacy because of that street there. So if we screen this out and soften it, when you're sitting down, they won't see you, you won't see them. It's going to look great. OK, so what I've got planned here is your Outside air conditioning unit, it's pretty ugly. It is. We can't it's move it, so I think we have to turn the negative into the positive and try and disguise it somehow. It's a flat pack piece of furniture, so pretty easy to find. But with that, we have to just tweak it a little. Not too much, just have to take away this side rail here. I've never actually used a drill. There you go, <laughs> first time for everything. <laughs> so it's in reverse now, so pop it in there. Get it positioned right, so holding it firm. Here you go. You did it. OK, so we need to take these out. We want to extend the legs because it's not quite tall enough to go over the unit. It means we have to drill. It's really soft timber. It's only pine, so it's very simple. Yeah, it's great. And back out again. Oh, see, you're an expert already. Good. These little guys here are what the legs screw into, so they pop into the hole and then you just bash them down with a the hammer. Then, is the leg just goes in. It's a bit like putting um, Jimmy Choo's on, huh? <laughs> Get a bit more height. Next, we'll give it an undercoat. I think the secret with this look is that we're going to go quite neutral as the base and all of the colour will be in the accents, which is really nice because you can mix and match then. You know, as years go on, it's, you're not sort of stuck with one definite colour it's on classic, the outside. classic, isn't it? What are yeah. we doing with the top coat? We're going to go white. OK. I've gone for a gloss finish, hard wearing outside, and won't show up too many marks from grubby little hands. Yeah, we seem to attract those. How's it going, girls? Good. <laughs> it's dry! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the table's looking good. Now, we obviously need ventilation for the front of the air conditioning unit, so I think this garden screening is going to be perfect. It's not hard to cut. You could do it with a handsaw. I'm going to do a nice clean cut just with a circular saw. There we go. And give it a coat of primer and it's ready for the Duramax, which is perfect for plastics. It's looking good. It looks fantastic. I love this screen in black. You know, I think it's nice and fresh in the white. There we go. Great. Ta-da! Looks fantastic. Really nice. It's a very clever little disguise, don't you think, for the ugly old air conditioning unit? Absolutely. It's going to look much better. 
coming up, I get started on giving this place a dance floor worthy of a Palm Springs outdoor entertainer. And Tara works the magic on the trim, giving it a fresh splash of colour. So, mate, if you were going to do over that area, what kind of paver or tile would you go for? Uh, I'd like uh, for bigger, bigger pavers. Something that's natural, perhaps. Spend a bit of money on it. Yes. Well, I think we've got exactly that. Now, this is blue stone, and I reckon we do the simplest pattern, which is straight both ways, so there'll be no cuts. Yep. It'll look a million bucks. Brilliant. Can't wait to see it. <sighs> now, when it comes to tiling and paving, one of the most important decisions to make is where you start so you know where you're finished. Now, I'm going to start in this corner here, which means I've got a nice full paver, the first place you see. I can't hide anything here, so I want it to be perfect. I'm going to go straight across there and then straight down here. Present it to where everyone's going to see it. The door, this front entrance, and you'll get the job right. Now, you might notice I've got a little half ball nose there. If you're doing lots of stairs or if you're doing around a pool, you want to have a finish like that so it's not sharp underfoot. But one piece with a whole ball nose can be quite expensive. Good thing is, with a natural stone like this blue stone, it's easy to cheat it and do it yourself. You just need an angle grinder. OK, let's talk paint. You guys are doing such a great job. I'm loving this. Oh, good. The grey is so good and it's so modern. And the little plant in front of it, I think, looks really fresh. So I think if we continue that down here and we have the darker grey above the window, I think with the windows themselves, maybe a slightly fresher colour, like more of a crisp white. So you carry on with the white and okay. I come up here with the grey. I've got to say, this has made such a difference, hasn't it? The one thing, though, I think is letting it down is this cream across the eave. Yeah. So if we just tie that in by painting that, then I think the whole lot will blend and look really crisp. Now, every job has its tricky bits. And this one is the air conditioner. I could get an electrician in, disconnect this, tile underneath it and then get him back, but it'll probably cost me four or 500 bucks. Or I can tile up to it, in front of it and around it, because Tara, she's got me covered. I'm saving money and time. The red brick wall at the back of this carport was sucking the life and light out of the whole space, so I want to decorate it. First job, cover it with blue board. Now, this stuff is especially designed for outdoor areas. It gives you a lovely, smooth surface to work on. I've used a special masonry glue on the back and wall plugs and screws to fix it in place. While Tara works on the back wall, I'm taking a break from paving to tackle something that's caught my eye. Now, unlike the pebble creek, this concrete is actually in pretty good nick. It's just a bit ugly. So for 50 bucks, you can really dress concrete up with a coat of purpose paint. What I mean by purpose is stuff that you can walk on, usually one that dries fast. And the colour, well, Tara picked it so it ties in with the greys that she's using on the house. And it's important always to have an exit plan. Oh, it's my tiling assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the nick of time. The colour, what do you think? I love it. It's a beautiful colour. The idea is to make this a whole feature wall, but instead of just one solid colour, breaking it up. So doing the whole bottom section with this beautiful blue tile and then top section white. Now, the reason I went for tiles instead of paint is to draw lots more light into this area. So these tiles will actually reflect a lot more light and just create a wall of interest. OK, so I'm putting some adhesive up this end and we won't go too far. It does seem to want to dry pretty quick today, so we'll just do a small section at a time. And that way we've got plenty of time to work. There's still plenty of work ahead on Katie and Anthony's Palm Springs themed outdoor entertainer. Later, I finally get my hands on the garden and Tara goes in search of inspiration for her finishing touches. Now, I needed a break, but it also made me look good with Tara. You know, ladies first, that sort of thing. Doesn't that wall look nice? But there's actually a method to my madness. I've had a little bit of time for these tiles to set so I can actually stand on them now because I was running out of space this way. And it's a better look that Tara's tile goes down to the floor and they're all nice and level and I butt up to them. So, 
So, tiling is done. To add some life to this previously dark and lifeless area, we're going to put in some hanging baskets. These succulents in these grey pots will work a treat. Now, from the look of the house and the look of this ceiling, I would suggest that it's asbestos, that it's not worth drilling into just to hang a basket. So what I've got here are three discs that I've glued with a lot of liquid nails, and you can hang a fair bit of weight from them. So, one, two, three, I can drill into that rather than this, save my health, and have some good-looking plants. I've only gone in about halfway, again, to be safe rather than sorry. Great grout, what do you think? Yeah, it looks good. It's a nice contrast. I think it's probably more durable for you outside too, not being white. You know, you've got that little bit of greyness to hide the dirt. Definitely. A bit more practical. Don't say I'm not a gentleman. Thank you. Thanks for leaving that course down for us. Made it a lot easier. That looks nice. It's it really cool, pops. Huh? Katie is the expert tiler. If ever you need her on any further yeah, jobs, right I'm the two of them, you got the work. I can't even find you. <laughs> Andrew! Is that usual? Andrew! <laughs> Anthony. Oh. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't answer. <laughs> It's looking fantastic, Tara. Tiffany blue is actually my favourite colour. Mine too. What girl doesn't love Tiffany blue? <laughs> so on that note, what I think I need to do now is just to head out shopping. I need to get some gorgeous bits and pieces just to keep this colour going and style it up. So you sit back and relax okay. and I'll be back soon. Sounds great. See you. With all the structural landscaping done, now we've really got to dress it up and give it that Palm Springs look. A little earlier, Graham checked out a very nice garden that made great use of succulents. So I'm going to borrow a few of those ideas for here. We want low maintenance and year-round colour, not to mention style. If you have a look at all the plants here, they're all very architectural. This little agave here and the cactus there, well, they've got a little bit of a spike or a prick to them. So when you're planting them, it's a great idea to wrap them in an old blanket, wear long sleeves and just take your time. Now, it wouldn't be Palm Springs, darling, without some palms. And this one here is Washingtonia robusta. They are native, the Washingtonias, in the Palm Springs area. Only the same thing applied for gold on the Gold Coast. And probably one of the most unusual plants we're putting in today is this aloe. It's called Big Red because of these beautiful flower spikes. This will get slightly taller, and each one of these flowers will get about 15, 20 centimetres tall. Best thing about it, in the middle of winter when the gardens look a bit drab, you'll have this big explosion of red. And as a contrast to all those sculptural plants, some dichondra silver falls can spill over the wall and soften everything up. Coming up, with Jason's Palm Springs garden taking shape, the styling process can begin. And I'll show you how shopping high-end can be the best thing for your budget, because inspiration is free. And now we're on the home stretch, with our finishing touches ready to go. Before I begin styling for Katie and Anthony's new space, I'm going to make a quick pit stop along the way, because something has caught my eye. Money's no object, then the world's your oyster. But I still say, no matter how much you have to spend, it's worth going shopping for inspiration. And a place like this says Palm Springs to me. Palm Springs really came into its own in the 60s. It's where the Hollywood A-listers would escape to, to relax and unwind. A very cocktail lifestyle. Now, design and technology evolved so much in the 60s. Furniture had cleaner lines. It was also more durable thanks to plastic coated metal. Amazing for the desert in California and great for Australia too. So I'm thinking for Katie and Anthony, we don't need a relaxing kind of sofa, it's not that kind of space. What they do need is a dining table, some chairs, something like this around so they can sit up and entertain. Well now I've got my inspiration, I can find the furniture to suit my budget. 
One of the first things I noticed when we pulled up was how exposed this space was to the corner. Now, it's not overly busy, but the last thing you want when you're sitting out here with your loved ones is headlights and people peeking in. So we've planted those giant strelitzias. Now, they're only about 70 centimetres tall at the moment, but they can get quite tall. And as a nice contrast with the strappy leaves, we've got a Fecrea. Now, this will send out a spike, a little bit like a Gaimea lily, and it can get sort of two, three metres tall. Here we go. Let's hide this ugly thing. Absolutely. Look at that. Wow. Perfectly disguised. That looks much better. That's so cool. Really good. And these pots are fantastic too. I love the colour of those and the height. And it's functional too. Yeah. You can use it as a table. How good are these chairs? They're beautiful. I love them. Replica, only $89 each. So now we have the look of Palm Springs on a budget. It's beautiful. It's nice and fresh. I love it. That's not bad, is it? Oh, makes me thirsty. What do you think? Oh, I absolutely love it. I think those bins that used to live here are going to have to find themselves a new home. It's magnificent. <laughs> It looks fantastic. I think we're going to really enjoy using this space. Absolutely love it. And it's just lightened up the area. It looks amazing. Well, it's actually nice too because we've continued the grey with the paintwork all the way around. So it's not only the side of the house that's changed. I think the whole dynamic of the house from the front has changed. And also your plants that you've got now, you won't find another house mm. in the suburb that has the same plant selection. Yeah. So you've got real talking pieces in the garden. Really didn't expect the pebble crit that was under there. I wasn't quite sure how this would turn out, but I love the floor. It's really nice. I think it kind of goes to show that you can have sort of things that you don't always love about a house. But we actually haven't done very much. It's all about camouflaging and I guess working with what you have and, and making the best of it, yeah. and you've done it. Yeah, it's fantastic. I even like the red brick now. It works yeah, well with the does. colours that have been I wouldn't chosen. go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks fabulous. Yeah, Great. Thank you. OK, fire out the barbie. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>